All right. Now that we have understood order by, let's move on to the next important one, which is case op. Case operator helps us, you know, create a new column conditionally based on another column. For example, if there is something called as, let's say, department ID. And right now I have in the database, I only have the department ID as a numeric number. For example, 22, 25. And I want to give it a name. For example, 22 has to be marketing, 25 has to be something else and so on like this. Now, if I want to create another column conditionally based on already present data that I use something called as case when operators, right? Let's see. Now, uh, let's start with the syntax. Select the column name over here. And then once I select the column names, I want to, you know, retrieve. I straight away move on to the case operator. Now, please make a note. Please make a special note here that I haven't ended the syntax over here by putting in from the table name because I'm yet to give that command from table name because I need to cover the entire table yet because I haven't defined the new column that I want from the table, right? So that is why I'll just give select column name. So uh, let's say the column name or names that you want to select are for select first name, comma, last name, comma, email and so on like this. The next one would be case operator. Now let's see how case operator operates. I'm creating a new column. Remember guys, now once I put in case, I put in the first condition when condition one, this is my first condition. And then I put the output over here. So it goes something like this when condition one, then this output. So input the output. Now similarly, I can go for multiple conditions. For example, when I say when condition one, then output one, when condition two, then output two, and then similarly, I can go for multiple conditions like this. Let's say I've given seven to eight different conditions, given the query, the command of generating seven to eight different kind of outputs. And once I've done this, I'll put something called as end and I'll end the logic over here. So case till end is that particular logic based on which I'm making the new column. And then I complete the syntax by putting in the table name in which I want this to be done right? This is, is going to complete my entire code. Now, please understand that apart from the column names that you have given, let's say the first name, the last name, the email, phone number, what you want to retrieve about uh, the employees, this, the colored output on your screen is another column which is getting created. This is actually another such column. So from case till end is nothing but another column which is getting created. As of now, we're not given the name of this column. We'll see that in the next video. But this is surely the next column. So if you give first name, last name, email, and then give case when conditions and end, the case went till the end will be the name of the fourth column. We'll see that in SQL very soon. Let's take an example. Let's say I want to go for the column names case when department ID is equal to 22. Then I want this to be marketing, right? Input the desired outcome after the condition. Similarly, I can put in multiple departments. For example, if the department ID is 25, then I want the department name to be sales, right? I put in then and multiple conditions can be put over here. And once I put in the multiple conditions, I'll end this by putting an end over here and I'll end the logic and then I'll end the syntax as well. And this is when the fourth column, um, the name of the entire column will be case when department ID is to till end will be the name of the fourth column. How can we change this? We'll see that, right? But this will be the name of the fourth or fifth column, whichever column you are creating over here. Let's see how this functions in SQL. All right, now let's see how it is done in SQL. Now that uh, I've taken most example from employee database, I'll go for the same database over here. So I'll use HR EMP. Let's see. Okay, HR EMP is being used. Now I'll go for that. All right. So I'll go for select first name, first name, last name, email, and put a comma and then start with the case operator over here. So I'll put in case so select first name, last name. When, 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 let's say I'll go for probably salary. Salary is greater than equal to 30,000. Then well paid. All right. And then I'll give the second condition if I want. Now I'll put in something like salary is less than 30,000. Then not paid well. Let's say I'll, I'll just don't take this personally, right? I'm just creating these two columns for the sake of doing it. Now, once I'm done this, I'll put an end over here. And then from the table name, which is employees, and I'll close the syntax. And if I run it, 
the data will be retrieved, right? And the data will be something like this. In fact, I'll just put in salary over here as well so that I can confirm whether I've given the right query or not. So if the salary is greater than 30,000, it is coming out to be well paid, otherwise not well paid. And in fact, uh, to my surprise, I find that lot, not a lot of employees are well paid over here as per the criteria. So uh, if I want to change it, I can change it as well. Let me put in 25,000 over here. I'll change it 25,000 and I'll just do it. Now one, uh, fine. So it is basically, you know, uh, classifying the employees based on that category, this based on that condition. Now one problem that I'm observing is the column name which is getting created as we've already discussed that this is the entire name of the column. This column name needs to be changed with something called as, right, so we'll do that and uh, cool, right? So uh, let's see how that can be done. This is how we can use the case when operator with multiple condition. Just remember that we need to end this once we have put in all the conditions and then we have to input the or other complete the syntax using from employees, right? Multiple conditions, multiple columns like this can be created using multiple conditions.